So everybody, thank you for coming today. I know today's a big day. Uh, there's a lot going on, so I, I appreciate you being here. Today is a very special day. Uh, as I look around, I think just about every year, everybody here knew Jimmy Slagle. Uh, you know, Jimmy Slagle is bigger than, than, than life and, and lives on in our heart. In order to memorialize uh, the service that he's given to our great nation, we're gonna honor him uh, with two things today. First, we put him in and he was uh, approved to be a distinguished member of the regiment for MCOM Pacific. And we're also going to memorialize him by renaming this conference room that he worked so hard on uh, in his memory. Uh, so again, for, for years to come, people will always remember Jimmy Slagle, and, and I think that'll be a great thing. So I think we're going to start off with uh, Jimmy's bio, because I know some of you, as I look around, most of you know him, but I don't think everybody does. So. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Garrison Commander, the United States Army Garrison debut, Colonel Robert P. Mann, Jr., thank you for joining us to honor the service of our recently departed friend and colleague, Mr. James A. Slagle. Before we start, I would like to thank our guests for taking time out of their busy schedule to help us honor one of our own. Dr. Christine Altendorf, Director, MCOM Pacific, Command Sergeant Major Walter Puckett, Command Sergeant Major, MCOM Pacific, Command Sergeant Major Alan J. Klein, Sergeant Major USAG Daegu, and Mr. Raymond S. Myers, Deputy to the Garrison Commander, USAG, USAG Daegu, family, friends, and colleagues, thank you for coming. Mr. James Arthur Slagle was born on 29 October, 1955. Mr. Slagle enlisted in the United States Army on 19 March, 1975, as an administrative specialist and later served as a career counselor. Mr. Slagle retired from active duty on 30 November 1998 with the rank of Master Sergeant after serving over 23 years. Mr. Slagle followed up a successful military career with continuous service as a Department of Defense civilian for over 21 years, with his most recent assignment as the Chief of Information Management at the United States Army Daegu Garrison. He proudly served the USAG Daegu community and the thousands of soldiers and civilians working throughout Area 4, always putting their needs above his own. The Distinguished Member of the Region Award was established in November of 2017 to recognize members of the IMCOM Pacific community who made significant contributions to the region and the IMCOM Pacific mission while upholding the IMCOM Pacific vision. Please remain seated during the posting of the following orders. Attention to orders. The distinguished member of the region is presented to Mr. James A. Slagle in recognition of your outstanding contribution to the Installation Management Command Pacific region and all the soldiers, civilians, and family members. Mr. James A. Slagle is hereby recognized as a distinguished member of the IMCOM Pacific region given under my hand at Fort Shafter, Hawaii, this 13th day of March, 2019, signed by Christine T. Altendorf. Well, you know what, I'm gonna, I wasn't going to say anything, but I can't read this. Um, so one of the things is a lot of times when we give these presentations, um, we usually ask the, the recipient to say a few words, and we know that Jimmy can't. But I think everyone in this room knows that he is actually up there and he's watching this. So let's go ahead and clap for him because mm -hmm. he did get this. And he is <laughs> Very much, man. Would the Garrison Command Team please come forward? History of the USAG Daegu Commander's Conference Room, Building 1211, Camp, Humphrey, Camp Henry, Korea. The Chief of Information Management, Mr. James A. Slagle, spent a lot of time on the care and maintenance of the systems in this conference room. It is here where Mr. Slagle was visionary with his planning integration of GBS and VoIP while still providing traditional video teleconferencing capabilities. Mr. Slagle found an upgraded solution that managed to reuse much of the equipment in the conference room in order to reduce cost as a steward of Army resources. The result is a beautiful and functional video wall system that is able to integrate one wall of eight screens and four side screens 
with a Cisco VTC and that also replaced the non-compliant Pandaberg system. From this foundational change, future upgrades like replacing the Polycon Defense Switch Network Voice Conference with a Cisco VoIP, VoIP conference solution and integrating the VTC camera with the computer so that only one camera will be able to conduct either GVS or traditional VTC and will integrate seamlessly. He also planned for an upgrade to the sound system in the conference room that will complete the modernization efforts of the equipment that has served the Army well for over 15 years. Again, please remain seated during the posting of the following orders. Attention to orders. In accordance with Army Regulation 133, the Army M Memorial Program, from today, 24 June 2019, this conference room will now and forever be known as the Jimmy A. Slagle Conference Room. Signed, Colonel Robert P. Mann, Jr., Commander, United States Army Daegu, South Korea. You know, what we've, what we've said, just said about Jimmy, you know, a lot of people, it makes no sense. Uh, and, and I can't remember who said it during his memorial ceremony, but Jimmy was a lifelong learner. And so I got in here, I said, boy, these screens are horrible. I can't read anything. And, and Mr. Slagle's like, hey, the, the, the VTC system's aging. And so I thought it was my, you know, just the, the screens. But apparently, I did need glasses. <laughs> so really, the screens were probably good to start off with. But Jimmy, being a lifelong learner, he integrated multiple new systems that 8th Army is still catching up on and doesn't have the capability. You know, he came in, and, and he told us what we needed. He told me what we needed. And then we made the RM pay for it, and the DPW do some work orders. But Jimmy was a lifelong learner. He understood what we needed to be able to communicate to Hawaii, back to 8th Army up at Camp Humphreys, or anywhere else. So, you know, this is a great day. You know, this is his conference room. For the amount of time that he spent in here, making sure every single one of us could communicate, uh, whether it was with IMCOM headquarters for NAP uh, functions or whatever, he was here for us. So, so I think this is a great honor. You know, honestly, it's probably the last thing I have done as the garrison commander. It's the one thing that I am most proud of. Uh, so again, I, I appreciate everybody taking time out of their day. Uh, and again, if you want to see a good picture of Jimmy Slagle, come see me after this, uh, and I'll show you because it, it truly epitomizes who Jimmy was. So, so thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's events. Thank you all for coming. Well, well we got, yeah, for that part, we got a couple we do have some points to get yeah. Yeah. So, ma'am, uh, we've got a couple uh, high speed, can we still say high speed low drag, or does that like date me from a, oh, it's an old soldier? It dates you, sir. It dates me, we call high speed low drag. Six point recipient, we'll, we'll come over here as well. Yeah, so we'll do it in front of the flag. Miss Julie and Mr. Ross, if you come forward. Oh, I'm sorry if I yeah, yeah, yeah. turned in order, I'm sorry. <laughs> Services Department and he's being awarded this coin due to the fact that they um, completed their accreditation with absolutely no findings. Me, excellent. Mr. Young's our master planner over the DPW. Gets all the uh, projects moving, a lot of construction coming in, and uh, really helps out the garrison, make it a better place for everybody. That's about it.
Make that argue awesome. also about the JWG and getting uh, so much done with 805 LTP. Okay. Oh, yeah. The small stuff. Nothing yeah, <laughs> like that. He has all the real estate issues with the, uh, if, you saw, if you saw the banners outside, uh, you want the land back, Doug sort of those issues on the H805 turnover. Right. Uh, can't so Doug, carol Doug's the land. The uh, who's on rail? Uh, clear the tracks? Yeah. All sorts of things I had going on. Those are the big ones. Cool. So, really, it's about Doug, I'd be crying. <laughs> Smith, uh, he's our high speed, low drag. Uh, cool. <laughs> fire, he's fire inspector of the year and he's going on to nice. compete at um, Department of Defense level. Oh, wow. All right. right. So this is for Fire Inspector, inspector of, of the, the Year. year. I love wow. it. As the garrison commander, uh, there, it's hard to do it all by yourself. Mr. Chong has uh, been our community relations officer for at least two years. I don't know what you did before you before I came here. Uh, no, but it's been a couple years. And honestly, he's got one of the toughest jobs in the garrison. Number one, he helps me translate uh, my English in, into Korean, uh, which is a challenge sometimes. But most importantly, he represents the United States uh, Army, the US, U.S. Forces Korea. Uh, with negotiations with his home country, whether it's the local residents or, or even in some cases the National Assembly congressmen. So I want to recognize what you've done on behalf of the garrison and representing us in you know multiple negotiations with the Korean government and say thank you because you have helped us and I've trusted you and you've done a great job. So thank you, Mr. Chong. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. So I'm just going to tell this quick story because we were, we, as we were driving over here, um, um, your garrison commander was looking at a speech and so he said he's going to, he's going to give part of it in Korean tomorrow. So I said, Hey, we're all in the vehicle, right? I said, you practice. I said, read your Korean portion. And I said, we'll judge you like the voice. And of course, no one except for the driver, no one in the vehicle is Korean. And so we're listening and, and Colonel Mann is kind of going on and on and on and on and on and on. And I don't, I don't know, you were talking for a really long time. And then the driver busted out laughing. And he said, you really must practice this tonight. <laughs> so we have no idea what might be said tomorrow, but there, there's a, a huge attempt at him giving part of his speech in Korean. But I know you really... I made it it's, you know what, he's going to get an A for effort. Whether he says what you wanted him to say <laughs> might not happen, but A for effort. I've got a backup speech to plan. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, the Garrison Command Group is kind of a hectic place. Apparently, there's some energy that goes on in there. We're always going around and we're, we're jumping and hopping. Uh, but Ms. Chan has been in the command group for the entire two years I've been there. And we've rotated folks. We've had a couple gaps in, in uh, coverage. And Ms. Chan has been a steady continuity throughout the command group. So she keeps not just me straight, she keeps the Sergeant Major straight, Mr. Myers straight. And, and a lot of times she was doing it single handedly. If you want to talk about calendars, you try to manage not just mine, but three calendars all at the same time. Ms. John, I want to say thank you uh, because you get me out, you got me where I needed to be on time for the most part. Sometimes it's my own fault I didn't make it. I want to say thank you publicly. Thank you. One is Mr. Song who laughed at me earlier. Actually, you know what? I need to find somebody else if Mr. Song's gonna laugh. That was good, right, Mr. Song? Yes, good. Sir. All right. it, was not, it, was not, it's okay. it was not good. Uh, so I am the number 15 uh, garrison oh commanders gosh. that I've driven, that he's driven for. And so I've learned something on day two. So Ed, he's gonna say we're gonna leave at 8:11. It's not 8.12, it's not 8.10, it's 8.11. Because he'll get you there right exactly the time that you need to be there. He's been here 
uh, you know, again, 15 garrison commanders, you'll be 16. He knows how to get everywhere. Somebody's going to think they know where they're going. Trust him. Uh, trust him on the time, but trust him with your safety. You know, you can work patiently and quietly in the back of the car and not worry about what's going to happen. He'll keep you safe and he'll get you where you need to go. Mr. Song, I want to say thank you because we've spent probably more hours together than my wife sometimes. <laughs> back, and forth, back and forth to Camp Humphrey. So thank you for keeping me safe and allowing me to get work done. today's ceremony is there any closing remarks or i think we're good then now but thank you very much for coming out today again i appreciate you being here for the jimmy slegel uh, conference room dedication as well as recognizing our workforce look forward to seeing everybody tomorrow uh, apparently there's food afterwards maybe if not there's hanjan hapsida <laughs> <laughs> not everybody knows what that